Hello, and thank you for joining the FlexSpace community. In this module, we'll show you how to add a space to the FlexSpace collection using the Create a Space template. But first, there are a few things to know. Any FlexSpace member may contribute a space to the FlexSpace collection using the Create a Space template on a mobile device or desktop browser. If you want to add a space but don't have a lot of time, no worries. You can get the space started, complete only the required fields, save the record, and keep it private until you're ready to publish it later. For any of your saved spaces, you may choose to add collaborators, giving them full access to edit the space. Collaborators can help you add further details, images, stories, and resources to provide a thorough description of the space. Remember, the more details you provide, the more useful your space will be for others to explore. Finally, it's important to keep in mind that all the details, tags, descriptions, and stories you add are fully searchable. That means the more details you add to your space, the easier it is for other FlexSpace members to find. Now let's walk through how to create a space. When you're logged into your FlexSpace account, click the Create New Space button to open the template. In the template, you'll notice that some of the fields are required. These required fields are used to create the search filters. Remember, in order to save your record, you'll need to complete these required details as best you can, and later you can come back to refine things before you publish. Before you get started, you should take a look at the entire template to see all the options for tags and descriptions. Most of the fields are self-explanatory, but here are a few tips to keep in mind. You'll see your name automatically listed as the owner of the space. After you save, you'll be able to add collaborators and reassign ownership to any one of them. The institution will automatically be filled in based on the owner's institution. Even though the space might serve many purposes, choose the type that you think will be most useful to viewers when they are filtering to find the space. We know you'll want to share images of the space. You might add before and after photos, close-ups, wide shots, instructor and student perspectives, you name it. There are two main ways to showcase your photos. The Photos section allows you to display a handful of images with captions in a gallery block view. If you add lots of photos, the extra images will be displayed below in the Additional Photos section. Choose one photo to be the main image that will serve as the header image and the thumbnail display. The Features section allows you to call out a single photo and add a meaningful title and description. You may customize the layout by adding as many Features sections as you like. Instead of simply adding a block of images in the Photo section, use the features to highlight a particular piece of equipment or room layout, or aspects of the space that require more explanation, such as hidden equipment or design or facilities attributes. You could even add a faculty member, researcher, or other collaborators to add their own details to the space. You'll want to add as many descriptive tags as possible to make it easier to search and find your space. You can add tags to detail everything about the space, including particular brands, layout and furnishings, high-tech and low-tech equipment, details about the facilities from top to bottom, and most importantly, the types of learning activities and pedagogy being used. If you want to add further details that aren't covered by the tags, use the Additional Specs field. And please let us know if you want us to add any tags to the tag list. In addition to the detailed specs, we're all interested in hearing behind-the-scenes stories. Here, you might share your experiences with planning and implementation, such as what you did, how you did it, who was involved, and lessons learned along the way. And we're always looking for evidence of impact, so use this section to share any findings or anecdotal evidence. In the Resources section, you can upload additional files and resources specific to this space. You might share things like a floor plan, detailed spec sheet or inventory list, video, research instruments or findings, instructor support resources, you name it. Most typical file formats are supported here. Always save your work before you exit and make sure to publish it when you're ready. You can always come back and update the space if you refresh the equipment or furnishings or if you just want to add more detail. You'll find all of your private and published spaces under the My Spaces tab. See how easy it is to create a space in FlexSpace? We look forward to seeing your published spaces soon. That's all for now. 
To help you make the most of FlexSpace, check out the other user guides and resources at flexspace.org.